My name is Tia Graham. I'm from London, Ontario, and I am a patient at the Children's Hospital. I was two years old when I was diagnosed, so I don't really remember how I kind of found out, but I do remember slowly growing up to realize the fact that I was different than other kids, and how different took me a while. It was a little bit strange learning that your heart didn't work as properly as it should when you were born, and that not every kid needs to take medicine and go see a cardiologist every year. As soon as we found out, we were directed to the Children's Hospital, um, and I've been a patient ever since at the Children's Hospital. My least favorite part is listening to when my do cardiologist listens to my heart, because that's how they found it in the first place. They heard something called a heart murmur, which is basically my heart sounds a little different. And when he listens, that silence that is everything okay really brings me worry. A lot of the times my treatment at a doctor's office is a little bit different than other kids. I usually get um, ECGs and echocardiograms and sometimes I'd have to wear the 24-hour blood pressure monitor which is basically blood pressure monitor except I wear it when I'm sleeping and I wear it at home and when I go to school so it can make sure that the medicine's um, doing everything it should. I think health care will be different in 100 years because let's think back 50, 100 years ago. Health care was different and a kid like me wouldn't have survived. And so I'm lucky to be born now, but it's a big difference of what was in the past and what we've come up to now. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what the next step is. My favorite part. You mean besides the donuts at the Tim Hortons there? <laughs> um, seeing all my friends and people at the Children's Hospital, like Dr. Berrygood or some of the familiar nurses or my doctor, my cardiologist. Seeing familiar faces is very reassuring and I get to say hi to them all the time at the hospital and it's reassuring to know that they're going to be there for me for those dark times. I choose to support the Children's Hospital because they've supported me through the darkest times of my journey and they've supported other kids' journeys too and I felt like giving back. I would like to say to the donors and healthcare workers, thank you. You have no idea how much you've changed my life and other kids' lives too. It's a big difference, thank you.